Aloha. Hey, good afternoon. I'm Commander Dan Hancock. I'm the commanding officer, captain of USS Frankie Peterson, Jr. Today, we want to welcome you aboard the Navy's newest warship as we celebrate our commissioning and placement into service. Alongside me, I have my command senior chief, Ed Darum. The Black Knights represent the sum of the finest sailors in the fleet, and we are ready to join the Pearl Harbor Ohana ships. That's right, senior. This guided missile destroyer specializes in air warfare, surface warfare, and undersea warfare. Like our great namesake, General Peterson, our team is ready to go into the tiger's jaw and own the fight. Let's go on board. Hi, I'm Commander Chad Stewart, the ship's executive officer. To my left is a mural of, of our namesake, Lieutenant General Frankie Peterson, Jr. General Peterson was born in Topeka, Kansas in 1932. He enlisted in the Navy in 1950 as an electronics technician. In 1951, he entered the Naval Aviation Cadet Program. And in 1952, he graduated from that program and earned a commission as a Marine Corps Second Lieutenant. He completed two combat tours to Korea and Vietnam, including commanding Marine Fire Attack Squadron 314, the Black Knights. In 1988, Lieutenant General Peterson retired from the Marine Corps as the first African-American aviator and first African-American general. At the time of his retirement, he held the titles of Silver Hawk and Gray Eagle, the senior ranking aviator for the Navy and the Marine Corps. Good morning, I'm OS1 O'Keefe. I'm the lead petty officer of OI Division on USS Frankie Peterson Jr. Um, here is uh, CSC, uh, Combat Information Center. Uh, CSC is uh, it's a, it's a central room um, on a ship and it's uh, com combined with uh, multiple rates. We got operations specialists, fire control men, uh, cryptolo cryptologic technicians, and gunners mate. Uh, our job in here is to, to gather, process, display, evaluate, and disseminate um, a picture, a tactical surface and air picture uh, for our commanding officer and our tactical actions officer to make quick, decisive decisions. This is our uh, tactical actions officer's uh, chair. This is uh, the guy that reports uh, to the CEO, our commanding officer. There's so much, I can't have too much on right now, but uh, yeah, this is where all the uh, picture happens. Uh, we'll have our display screens uh, up here, all the way across, uh, giving our surface and air picture. Welcome to the Black Knights Cafe on Frankie Peterson DDG 121. Uh, my name is CS1 Carver, I'm the leading CS on board. Um, let me introduce you to the line that we have. A little bit about me, uh, 17 years in, um, did a couple food competitions, fell in love with food. Uh, also coming from a, a, a military background family. My father was an MS originally, which then became CS's. Uh, that's basically it. I mean, this is where we serve the crew, uh, 300 plus sometimes, and we make sure that they get breakfast, lunch, dinner. Hi, welcome to Engineering. I'm Ensign Laura Hamm. I'm the main propulsion officer on board Frank E. Peterson, Jr. And right now we're standing in Central Control Station. This is the hub from which we monitor and control all of the engineering equipment on the ship. On the left, we have the electric plant control console where we control the 60 hertz system. And on the right, we have the propulsion and auxiliaries control console where we monitor propulsion and auxiliaries. This is also damage control central, so that half of the space is where the damage control assistant will come if we have any sort of casualty in order to coordinate the response. Usually right here we have the engineering officer of the watch who is in charge of everything engineering on the ship. All of our watch standards report to the EAO. There are engineering experts. Hey, how's it going? Good morning. Uh, welcome to USS Frankie Peterson Jr. Engineering Department. I'm GSM2 Rockham Evans. I'll be giving you a tour of our main engine room number one. All right, let's get started. All right, so over here we have UCC number three. That's the Universal Control Console. Uh, underway, this is where your ERO, your engine room operator, will be sitting, monitoring the plant, monitoring the engines. We have four LM500 on board. We have two in this space, and I'll be getting to that in a minute. All right. 
Now, if we come over here, those other top 500s, they run, and it's possible they can have a fire inside the module. If that happens, we have our Halon actuation stations. Halon is for fighting fires inside of the module. All right, let's take you guys down to mid-level. All right, and here we are, mid-level, right? Uh, down here, you'll get the water production. We do our visuals on the LM2500s or GTMs. GTMs is the module it's in. GTE is the actual engine itself. Let me take you over here to the observation window. All right, this is the observation window. So when they start, we come here, conduct our visual. Uh, like I said, we have four LM2500 on board. All right, two in each space, each main space. There's two main spaces. And we're actually the fastest ship on Desron 31 uh, right now. We are currently at 34.7 knots, which is extremely fast, right? All right, let's go this way. All right, and over here, you have your ROs, your reverse osmosis, which is the way we purify, clean the water for us to consume and use in showers. All right, uh, each RO makes approximately 12,000 gallons a day. All right, so that's good for consumption of the ship and the crew. We'll move on to this way. We have engineers going hard with the air system, LP air. That's what we use. This here is our HOPM, our hydraulic oil power module. It's the hardest CRP. Uh, here on this ship, the shaft can go one way, but it can go forward and backwards by using pitch. All right. And here is uh, where the magic happens with oil and fuel. We have our oil lab, which they do fuel and oil testing. All right, making sure our criterias are good enough to take on board, receiving fuel, and making sure our lube oil stays the quality lube oil, all right? And here is where GSM-3 is going hard cleaning the bottles. We need clean bottles if we're gonna have clean lube oil and fuel, right? All right? And that is uh, the end of the tour of my main space. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good day. Guys, this is the Mark 41 vertical launching system. Uh, this is forward VLS. We have 32 cells, and in aft VLS, we have 64 cells. This system makes the destroyer where the destroyer is. It allows us to fight, uh, have self-defense for air, land, and underwater. Um, we are capable of holding uh, SM2s, SM6s, SM3s, Tomahawks, ESSMs. You name it, we probably have it. Oh, how you guys doing? You realize you guys was up here today? Go ahead and put this safety over here so I can walk back in my own hole. All right, how's it going? I'm G1 Johnson. I'm gonna be talking about my Mort 40, my Mort 45 uh, light one gun here. Five inch gun, 62. She is the best in the fleet, I tell you what. When that girl shoots, she don't miss. All right, so a little bit about her. So she does about 16 to 20 rounds a minute. That is I decided to load it up even faster. So five inch by 62. So take the five inch, multiply that by 62, you get 270. That is the length of my barrel right there. So when you shoot this right here, this nice little part right here with all this grease on it right here, slides back all the way back into my gun. Hits that recoil, comes back out nice and shiny. Love it. Hey, good morning. I'm FC1 Brixen. I'm the lead SeaWiz technician here on board the USS Frankie Peterson Jr. Uh, this here is our uh, close in weapon system. It is our last line of defense against anti air missile defense as well as surface contacts. We hold approximately 1,500 rounds and we shoot approximately 4,500 rounds per minute. Hello, everybody. My name is IT2 Hakeem Mathis here on DDG-121, Frankie Peterson Jr. I'm currently on the aft missile deck. I'm here to show you guys a couple of antennas. So if you look up here on my mast, you'll see a couple weird looking antennas up there. One of them looks like a spider, one that has four plated pairs on it, and another one over there to the right that you can't see. Those, most of those are our line of sight and our half quick antennas. We use those for line of sight communications and for voice, non-secure non and secure voice. Coming back this way towards the aft missile deck. We have a 35 foot whip right here. That is for our HF communications. We use that for long haul voice and long haul data. And going back towards the aft missile deck here, we have another HF antenna, our 14 foot whip. It is also used for HF secure and non secure voice or data. 
for internet. We also have our Whiskey 9 antennas and we also have our CBSP right below the mast over there. So if you look over there, you see the small domes and the big domes. Most of those are for our internet. And that completes our tour. Hi, my name is BM1 Huffman. I am the LPO of Deck Division here on Frankie Peterson Jr. I've been in the Navy 11 years and I'm gonna show you the flight deck on DDG 121. So, as you can see, pretty spacious. We land MH60s along with uh, various other uh, aircrafts. You have your dotted T-line here. That is for vert reps, vertical replenishments, so that we can drop and send off replenishments at sea. Back here in the aft port corner, you have an H for Heifer, that's Hilo in-flight refueling. That way we can have a helicopter in the air while we refuel them underway at sea. Up forward here, you got your two hangar bays where we can house the Hilos overnight if need be. And the way we get them in the hangar bays is this RAS track here. RAS stands for Recovery, Assist, Secure, and Traverse. In the middle, you see the windows. That is our Hilo control tower. Our officer will talk to the Hilos as they're landing on deck. And over here is the LSO shack as we use that to bring the Hilos over the raft into the hangar bays. That's it for me. Y'all have a good day. First permission to go ashore? Thank you for visiting the Navy's newest warship. We hope you enjoyed your tour of USS Frankie Peterson, Jr. Mahalo.